Now, the idea that people can be fat but medically fit is a myth, according to a study of the records of more than three million people. Researchers from Birmingham University say that being obese increases the risk of suffering heart disease, stroke and heart failure. Well, joining me from Birmingham is Dr. James Brown, who's a lecturer in biology and biomedical science at Aston University. Thanks very much for joining us, uh, uh, doc Dr. Brown. Um, tell me, do you, do you agree with this particular um, headline? Uh, I do, yes. This is um, a question which has rumbled on for years now. Is it possible to be obese and otherwise metabolically healthy? I personally don't like the term fat and fit. Um, and there have been studies, pretty large studies, uh, even a couple of months ago in Sweden, a study came out which suggested it, it is possible to be fat and fit. But this is the largest study of its type. And it looked at a population of three and a half million people over 10 years. And what it found was that individuals who were obese but did not have any overt meta metabolic disease, so otherwise were otherwise healthy, they had a 50% higher risk of heart disease and a 7% higher risk of stroke. I think what that suggests is that although there will be some individuals um, who can be uh, obese but otherwise metabolically healthy, a little bit like some people can smoke and not get lung cancer, for the broader population of people with obesity, it really is unhealthy. Should we draw a greater distinction between people who are merely fat and people who are obese? Yeah, so this is the interest, well, this is the, the difficult thing, I suppose. Um, when we talk about the, the terminology of fat but fit, we, you could include in that population people who are overweight. This particular study looks specifically at obese people, so people whose body mass index was higher than 30. Now, this is a, a, a slight drawback of the study because body mass index really isn't the best measure of body fat, but for the time period the study was performed, this was the most appropriate measure. So this is really people who are at the higher end of having body fat rather than those that are just slightly overweight. And, and just explain that about body mass index and why you're sceptical of that as a, as a clever measure. OK, I'll give you a really good example. So Lawrence Delalio, when he was captain of the England rugby team, uh, would have been classed as obese according to body mass index. And anybody who can remember Lawrence Delalio, he was practically 100% muscle. It, body mass index just takes your height and your weight and uses a mathematical equation to calculate a, a figure. It doesn't take into account how much of your weight is fat and how much of your weight is muscle. There are now much better measures, such as if you take a ratio of your, your waist to your height, for example, or your waist to your hip measurements, and they tell you more about whether you're storing excess body fat rather than if you have lots of muscle and fat. So just briefly, Dr. Brown, what's your advice to people uh, with this, this study? I think the most important thing is to not to lose sight of the fact that what we should be doing is supporting all obese people to lose weight. So that's through having a, a proper healthy diet and getting regular exercise. Dr. Brown, James Brown from Aston University, many thanks for your time. Thank you.